This is Expound. Expanding your knowledge of the truth of God by explaining the Word of God in a way that is interactive, enjoyable, and congregational. That's our very own Dominic Cedillo. Let's give him a huge round of applause once again. <laughs> Dominic, great to have you, man. It's great to be here. Well, Clay, I, I play guitar, but after seeing that, I'm depressed. <laughs> I have great depression in my heart, and I just kind of feel like a failure. So oh, thank out. you for that. I appreciate it. You're welcome. No, but great to have you here. Let's see, is that mic on? I'm not sure. Check. Sorry about that. There we go. Beautiful. Well, Dominic is a flamenco classical guitar player. He works here on staff at Calvary of Albuquerque in the connection as an illustrator. And tonight we're in Exodus chapter 15, which Exodus 15, as most of you should know if you've been reading ahead like we've been telling you to, is the Song of Moses, a beautiful passage of a beautiful worship song that Moses wrote to God. And music has been primary expression of worship through the Lord, through artistic expression. It's been a form of worship to God, along with all the other arts, as we see through the Bible, that God uses those to bring glory to his name. As a matter of fact, the arts and artistic expression is a form of God's nature imprinted on humanity. And it's very apparent when we see some beautiful music playing like that. But Dominic, we got a couple questions for you tonight. All righty. And one is, when did you first start playing guitar? Oh, gosh. I started playing guitar when I was about knee-high to a duck, so about <laughs> 15 years old, and I've been playing guitar for about 15 years now. Okay. Awesome. 
And, uh, and when did you discover that you had this gift of playing guitar? When did it click like, man, I could be good at this? Um, I wasn't sure. I, I just started playing and people started clapping and I said, all right, well, this sounds good to me. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> awesome, there you go. <laughs> You know, you're not only a guitar player, but you're also an illustrator, you're an artist. And we actually have some of your art that we're gonna be putting up on the screens, some beautiful art that you've done. When did you discover that you had that gift as well? Um, let's see, I discovered it, um, uh, well, my mom, she really encouraged me and my dad, you know, but you know, moms, they love whatever you do. But <laughs> um, I just started uh, drawing and, and uh, you know, people were wanting me to do their drawing assignments in class and color for them. And so I was like, oh, okay, I should probably start charging for this. <laughs> awesome. And, you know, did you first start out with actual drawing and then it moved to Illustrator through the computer and other things as, such as that? Oh, yeah. I went to an art college and uh, I, had, I had always drawn, like I said, uh, um, just drawing since I was a little kid. And then uh, those skills got honed when I went to college and I decided that that was what I wanted to do. I read a lot of comic books and watched a lot of cartoons and, you know, it was a pretty good diet. So... <laughs> The images we're seeing up here on the screen, are those done by hand or are those done through the computer? Uh, it's a two-part uh, thing. I uh, draw everything by hand and then I scan it into the computer and then um, I uh, recreate it digitally. Uh, usually use a program called Adobe Illustrator and so it's all vector art so it, it's easier to reproduce and uh, get bigger and get smaller without losing any of the resolution. How long does it take to do one of those drawings? Oh gosh, how long is a piece of string, Nate? Um, <laughs> I'd say, goodness. It depends what it I can takes, see. It would either be maybe yeah. six inches or a couple yeah, feet, I don't exactly. know. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, a couple of the pieces on there, like the one with the ant and the chrysalis, that one took uh, a mighty few hours, probably about 20 some hours. And the wow. Jay and the Peacock one, that one maybe took a, a few hours and wow. uh, people seem to like that one the most and I spent the least amount of time on it. <laughs> Go fig. <laughs> well, you know, it's very apparent that you're gifted in multiple areas. So the question is, what do you enjoy doing more, playing guitar or doing illustrations? Let's see. Well, Nate, I, it's like picking between my two kids. I like uh, playing guitar a lot. I would love to do that, you know, but I think I'm a little bit better at uh, illustrating and I like doing that more. Awesome. And when did you start to realize that this guitar playing and illustrating could be a form of, of worship to God as you express yourself and what God's doing in your life through the art that you're creating? Well, my mom always told me that it, uh, the gifts I had were gifts from the Lord and um, I started to really struggle with, well, how am I gonna honor God by drawing cartoons and playing classical guitar, you know? And, and then I read a couple things in the, in the Bible. I ran across a passage in Exodus uh, chapter 35, verse 30 through 35, and it talks about God filling these guys with the spirit to do all sorts of artistic craftsmanship. And they basically, uh, he called all these artists to build the Ark of the Covenant, which housed the very word of God. And all that where they weren't pastors and preachers and stuff, they played a really important part. And then uh, there was another uh, thing in Psalm 69, verse 30 and 31 that says, uh, I will praise the name of God with the song and magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or a bull which has horns and hooves. Mm -hmm. And so the whole message of the Bible is that he, he doesn't want burnt sacrifices, but he wants her heart. And even though that type of guitar playing isn't like traditional worship per se, he gave it to me. And so I'm just trying to give it back to him, you know, and as good or bad as it sounds, uh, it's, uh, it's all for the Lord. Amen. You know, it's so cool that you can use a gifting like playing guitar to worship God and a gifting like creating art to worship God. And you don't have to be a Christian to make art, but there is a difference between a Christian artist and a secular artist. What would you say is the primary difference between you and some of the secular guitar players, secular artists out there today? Oh man, the big thing is ego. I would have to say, uh, I, we, we all have it. We're all fallen. We're all under a curse and all that. But I think, uh, especially it's something that is a certain gift that not everybody has. Artists tend to have a certain type of uh, um, ego and, and uh, unhumility to them. I, I can say this because I used to be an unhumble jerk. So um, that, uh, you know, you just want to put yourself out there and say, hey, this is all me. You know, you walk into a room with a bunch of guitarists. They're like, I'm the best guitarist, you know, but, you know, really... Yeah, the difference is, is humility and knowing that the Lord gave you that gift and if you're not using it for him to glorify him, he can just as easily take it away and, and make you not sound so good or, or whatever. 
When you're preparing to do an illustration or maybe write a song, where do you find your inspiration comes from to write those and to create that art? Oh, goodness. Uh, for, for illustrating uh, just life and creation, I like drawing a lot of uh, just uh, creatures and people and, and just the things that, that God has created. That's usually uh, funny stories that happens with, with music. Uh, I'm kind of a sappy, wear your heart on your sleeve type of guy, so I think uh, a lot of it comes from, you know, being sad, but, and just kind of mopey or whatever, you know, sorry. But uh, I know that, that uh, but I'm really happy, I promise, all the time. <laughs> well, you bring us yeah, happiness yeah. through your sadness. You, you chase so all the blues away, but yeah, I mean, like, when you look at David, he was the, the sweet psalmist of Israel, like, a lot of his songs were just uh, laments and his heart cries and, and, uh, and those things were, were beautiful, because even in, the, in that brokenness and sadness, something beautiful came out of it. Even though I didn't get, per se, what I wanted and ma that made me sad, you know, the Lord gave me a beautiful song as a result. Amen. Awesome. Praise the Lord. You know, we've got a couple of Dominic's illustrations out in the East Foyer. After service, make sure to go over there. Check them out. They're really beautiful. Let's give a huge round of applause for Dominic Cedillo. Dominic, thanks again for coming out. Thank you.